Longer wait times are happening at the Santa Maria Benita Unified School District COVID testing sites. News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Ordunia has details on what the district is doing to make sure students and staff are tested as quickly as possible. Children and parents in the Santa Maria Bonita Unified School District are waiting longer than usual to get tested for COVID-19. Over winter break, uh, we saw a huge increase in COVID-19 infections uh, amongst the community, um, also amongst our staff, and I imagine also amongst our students. Nurses say depending on the time of the day, it goes as far as the end of the block. The public is also welcomed to get tested at the same sites. Officials say the demand for testing spiked with the recent Omicron-driven surge. Many people are coming to our sites from not just the city of Santa Maria, but even our surrounding communities. But students and staff at the district will be the priority at all testing sites. Upon arrival, there are two QR codes, one for the district's students and staff and the other one for the public. Nurses say wait times could take between 30 minutes to two hours depending on the time of the day, so they ask the community to be patient. It's very busy here. We do get a lot of patients. We get more than 600 patients a day. In the last week, the district says over 4,000 COVID tests have been provided to the community. The only way nurses are holding up during this busy time, teamwork. Being very organized with your teammates is very important for us. Um, we do try it and help each other out as much as we can. The district has a total of four testing sites. The locations are on our mobile app and website. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Orduña. Cottage Hospital has reduced non-emergency procedures, starting with temporarily postponing those that are non-urgent and would require a hospital admission. This will help hospitals maintain staffing and bed capacity amid the current surge of the COVID Omicron variant as we expect the number of hospitalizations to remain high in the next few weeks. Continually monitoring data and projected patient numbers inform the pandemic response planning. It's uh, important to seek medical care when needed. Healthcare providers can help patients navigate decisions with individuals and community wellness variables in the current state of the pandemic. Local community college students are returning back to class beginning today, but they're doing so in fewer numbers. Both Cuesta and Santa Barbara City College started their spring semester today. City College doing so mostly with remote learning. Hancock College starts in-person instruction next Tuesday. As the new semester begins, enrollment continues to lag behind pre-pandemic numbers. Compared to this time two years ago, right before COVID-19 hit, Cuesta is down 13%. City College dropped 